Understanding Admit Guilt in English. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to explore an interesting phrase that you might have heard admit guilt. We'll break down what it means, how it's used, and give some examples to help you understand it better. Whether you're a beginner or just looking to expand your vocabulary, this video is for you. Admit guilt is a phrase used to describe the action of acknowledging one's own wrongdoing or responsibility for a mistake or a crime. The word admit in this context means to confess or to accept that something is true. Guilt, on the other hand, refers to the state of having done something wrong or illegal. So, when someone admits guilt, they are essentially confessing to a wrongdoing. This phrase is commonly used in both everyday language and legal contexts. In everyday conversation, admitting guilt can be about small mistakes or errors. For example, if someone says, I admit guilt, I forgot to send the email, they are acknowledging their mistake. In a legal context, admitting guilt is more serious and usually involves a formal process where a person acknowledges they have committed a crime. To help you understand better, let's look at some examples. 1. After much questioning, the suspect admitted guilt in the robbery case. 2. I admit my guilt in this matter, said the politician, acknowledging the accusations. 3. In a surprising turn of events, the CEO admitted guilt for financial mismanagement. There are other phrases that carry a similar meaning. These include, confess to a crime, acknowledge wrongdoing, plead guilty, often used in legal contexts. Understanding these synonyms can help you recognize the same idea in different forms of communication. That's it for today's lesson on the phrase, admit guilt. We hope this video has helped you understand its meaning and usage in English. Remember, admitting guilt is all about acknowledging a mistake or wrongdoing, whether in daily life or in a legal situation. Keep practicing, and don't hesitate to use this phrase in your conversations where appropriate. Thanks for watching, and see you in our next video.